Hello everyone, welcome to our Timeless Oracle reading. Our Oracle card for today belongs to the Into the Lonely Woods Oracle by Lucy Cavendish and illustrated by Dan May. When you look at the picture of this card, you see two people, one putting his ha hand over the shoulder of the other, and both of them are <clears throat> staring intently on a bird. While at a distance, there is another similar creature, but this creature seems to be uh, unaware of the bird that these two people are intently looking on. It somehow illustrates the challenge or often some people might consider it a struggle that a person that undergoes change, growth, maturity, and transformation usually encounters. Oftentimes when, uh, when a person undergoes that sudden shift towards rapid transformation or rapid spiritual ascension, or which is usually triggered by a certain situation, that wakes you up to a reality that you were not aware of before. And I feel that many of you will relate to that. When you reach that point wherein there is that change, and uh, sometimes for many of us, the change comes after a certain crisis, uh, like a loss of a person, uh, a certain uh, problem that arises, a certain realization that there are certain aspects in our life that we really need to change if we are going to truly be at peace with ourselves, with our life, if we really need to be truly happy, if we really need to be uh, truly living our life to the full. So what happens is oftentimes we withdraw. We withdraw because we are drawn towards this moment of transformation and we really need some time alone but at the same time also it's because suddenly what is important in our life changes and when that in that point of view changes oftentimes people that we used to walk around with through our life could not understand us anymore there, when we undergo this kind of change, we sooner or later discover those who truly love us and truly care. Because even if they couldn't understand us, they still stay with us. And it's also a grace because then you will know who truly are caring or who truly, truly cares for us. But at the same time, there will be people who will not understand us. And so what happens is, for some of us, there will be a moment wherein you will feel alone. But then again, you cannot deny that what is happening to you is very important. And so you pursue this inspiration even if you were alone. But then this transformation that is happening in you is also happening in other people. Although Every transformation is very personal. There is a general direction that all people who undergo transformation, there's some, we sort of have a general direction towards where we are going. And so what happens, even if the transformation is very personal, like for example, certain gifts that you receive uh, might not be the same as the other people, but all of us are receiving the clear gifts, all of us are receiving uh, certain awareness, certain realization about life. But yes, it is presented to us in a personal way. But somehow, when we see somebody who's undergoing the same change, we understand them. And we find ourselves supporting them and we find support coming from them. And then sooner or later, if you started that you were alone at first, sooner or later, these people who are in the same direction as we are, 
somehow the universe finds a way to bring us together especially those who whom we are meant to journey with at this lifetime so sooner or later you will no longer feel alone there will be people who are drawn towards the same direction whom we will meet along the way and by intuition we will feel drawn to them these are the people who are like those that are illustrated here in this picture those who see the same things those who value the same things those who like you are no longer ashamed to show the world who you truly are sooner or later this these people become part of our life's journey they sometimes are called our soul family or our soul tribe and sometimes there are even people who really truly resonate with us in a very high degree and sometimes we call upon them as our soulmates now the soulmates need not have to be romantic it can be that of friendship or sort of a next of kin the important thing there is they resonate so much with us that our spiritual journey and our personal growth seems to be much faster when we are with them oftentimes we meet some people also who will trigger this change in us and oftentimes we learn lesson from them now some of these people that join with us they will not join you up <clears throat> for the whole course of our transformation sometimes they are just passing ships sometimes they just come to our life in order to awaken us the important thing is to know that our source of happiness is within us and we should and we are called to live our life with that kind of detachment from the world when somebody comes into our life we love them as best as we can and we enjoy the process of loving and caring for them but somehow you realize that as we grow deeper you learn to be detached in a certain way wherein we allow people to come and go in our life and we find joy when they are with us but we also have the freedom to let them go knowing that even if they are not there we will still find joy because the source of joy is within us and so when they come back the joy of celebration is higher because somehow uh, when we allow to when we give space to other people especially those who are going in the same direction as we are our growth and maturation becomes more profound and sooner or later we realize that yes we learn to love unconditionally we are able to avoid that kind of love where someone is dependent on the other and there is we avoid that unhealthy dynamic between people so what happens is you learn to easily give space to people and these people learn to give you space also and so what happens is sooner or later you develop a bigger family of people who are in the same direction as you are and then you realize you truly are not alone another beautiful aspect <clears throat> of our spiritual transformation is that you somehow develop a higher degree of connectedness to everything that is existing in our cosmos in our universe not only in the animate things but also in inanimate things so somehow life becomes more exciting you become more uh, connected to animals more connected to the trees to the rocks and everything around us 
we become more aware of the energy that evolves throughout our environment. And that interconnectedness also makes us aware of something divine in our life. And what happens is life becomes filled with mystery and we enter life with that sense of awe. And it's even more beautiful when sooner or later some people who are also undergoing such change will come into our life. And truly, whether they are with us or at this time or not, because of this interconnectedness with everything, we realize that we really are not alone. Now let's try to read the handbook that accompanies this card so that we can gain more insights regarding there are others like you. Others like you are experiencing an awakening. The truth you are awakening to is the changing nature of your being. The way we have life within life within life. Okay, I repeat that. The way we have life within life within life. Okay, it seems as if you are the only one experiencing such a profound rebirth. And this can lead you to feel bleak, believing that there is no one else who has experienced quite what you have. This is true. Your experience is unique and profound, but it is a theme that other souls are gently seeing the possibilities of their own freedom. They walk their own path, shunning the loud voices of the human world that shout their empty words into numb ears and blank minds. There are others like you. You are not alone in this rebirthing of the inner and outer worlds. So do not worry. When the right time comes, you will see people who are also in the same direction. But whether they are there or not, know that you are connected to everything around you and experience will teach you such a reality. Well, that's it for today. I hope you were able to gain some insights from our reflection for today. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.